Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the dark mode feature in OneNote. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks a little different than mine, it may be because you're using a different version or a different device. So I'm going to start off by just quickly showing you what dark mode does, and then we'll get into some specifics. So I'm going to go into the menu, settings, options, dark mode. And you can see right away, big change. Um, and I will show you more about how to get to this in case you need that later. But I'm going to go back to light mode and then we will get into the video. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start with this sample page. And on this page, the column on the left is just a some regular text that I put in on the regular light mode, which has a white background. Um, I turned the page to dark mode and then screenshotted it and put them right next to each other so that you could really get a good sense of how light mode and dark mode look different. Um, I'm going to go into some technical details about how dark mode differs than light mode, and that comes from Microsoft. Uh, so we'll come back to this and dig into the details a little bit more, but I want to show you one other example of light versus dark, and that's here. Um, these The left-hand column was done in light mode, and these are ombre to-do list boxes, and I have a video on how I made these, which I will link to. And all of these colors are kind of in the same family, but they gradually shape uh, change in shade from light to more saturated or bold in both cases. When I flipped it to dark mode, you can see that the colors uh, are kind of opposite where the darkest is on top and then the lightest is on the bottom. And again, we'll go back and take a closer look at some of these differences later. So what does dark mode do? Uh, this is kind of a short version in my own words, uh, but it changes your content background and interface to dark, but it leaves the content itself and the contrast levels the same as in light mode. Uh, from the Microsoft support site, I found this information. Dark mode can improve readability in low light environments. It can increase legibility of the user interface as well as your notes. It can provide better contrast and it can also reduce eye strain. So I did pull this from support.office.com and I made some minor changes to this just for more readability in the video. Uh, on the Microsoft main site, I also found some information about dark mode. Um, so dark mode turns the canvas dark along with the rest of the interface while leaving the user's existing content at the same visibility and contrast as in the light mode. Dark mode allows a user to view canvas content such as text, text colors, table background colors, text highlighters, and ink colors with the same comfort as in the light mode without simply inverting the colors to the opposite end of the color spectrum. And finally, dark mode enables users to create content in dark mode that will be equally legible in light mode so that other collaborators viewing the same content in light mode will not have any noticeable difficulties. And again, I, pull, I pulled this from the Microsoft site and made some minor changes to it just to make it more um, readable for a video. So going back to this sample uh, slide and after hearing some of the descriptions from Microsoft, um, I, I wanted to point out, as they said, that dark mode does more than just kind of flip black to white and dark colors to their lighter counterparts. It actually makes an effort to keep the contrast, and in my own words, the, the feel similar to your original content. For me, on this page, the most obvious example of this is the third line where it says black text highlighted yellow. So as you might expect, it flipped the black text to white, but it also changed the highlighted color to a very dark, almost um, greenish yellow. And if we look at the contrast to that, the yellow against white does not have a whole lot of contrast. And I think they did a pretty good job of coming up with a highlight color that has not much contrast from the black background. The other thing I wanted to point out on this page um, is the 
third line from the bottom. There's a blank space and next to it it says white text in light gray. And so this actually has uh, words in it, but it's just written in white text so you can't see it on the white background. And the same thing happened when we flipped to dark mode, which is that it turned the text black and you can't see it. So the final thing I, I wanted to point out is the bottom line um, on the original, the white or light mode, um, the bottom line says purple text and it's a very soft purple, almost like a pastel type purple. And when I flipped it to dark mode, OneNote selected a very dark purple, uh, which again, I think did a good job of keeping the contrast similar. This very light pastel purple in the original doesn't have much con contrast with the white background. And the darker uh, purple has a similar level of contrast against the black background. So the last thing I want to just show you um, is how to get to dark mode. Um, I showed you quickly earlier, but just to make sure that that's clear. So I'm going to go back to our original slide. Um, click on these three dots in the upper right. Actually, I'm going to go to this slide, how to get to dark mode. You click on these three dots in your upper right, and this will bring your menu up. You click settings options and then right here at the top you can go into dark mode or back to light mode. You also have the option to use my Windows mode, meaning that whatever mode you've picked for Windows, OneNote will pick it up. Dark mode has been rolling out gradually over the past few months, maybe even close to eight or nine months. Um, but if, So if you don't have it yet, it may still be coming. And that is it. That's how to use dark mode in OneNote. If you have any questions or comments or something you want to see in more detail, please do leave a comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer you. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, life management, and things like that, please hit subscribe so that you can be subscribed and let me know you like this video by hitting the thumbs up button. If you want to talk with other OneNote users on Facebook, join us in the OneNote Bullet Journal group or in the OneNote for iPad group, both on Facebook. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.